how to change roles in WebEx, including reclaiming the host role. The Meeting Center platform allows three roles, the host, the presenter, and the participant. Now, when you first log on as the host, you will have the presenter role. But this presenter role can be passed to any participant at any time and taken back. Importantly, there is one host, one presenter, but as many participants as you like. These roles are all interchangeable. Training Center is built with four roles. There's a host role and presenter role, followed by the panelist role and the participant role. The panelist role is very important in a training session because the panelist has the ability to annotate on the slides, the ability to respond to questions that come in on the Q&A tab. And they also have the ability to even bring more documents into the session without it being seen by everybody else in the group. They're kind of a behind-the-scenes support person. It provides a valuable role in online training. Importantly, there is only one host, one presenter, but there can be multiple panelists and multiple participants. So let's make sure we have this right. So if you are the person that basically is hosting that meeting, that means you are doing all the things related to getting it set up and opening the session. If you are the presenter, that role can be given to anybody. When you first come into the meeting, the host and the presenter are the same person. But the host can give those presenter rights to somebody else. So when you are a presenter, you can enable all the interactions that you want your audience to do. You can open, close, and share polls. You really have a lot of power as a presenter. The third role that is just in Training Center is that panelist. That is a support role to annotate on the slides, manage the Q&A, and just provide whatever support is needed to make the presenter be able to focus more on the presentation that they are giving and not on the technology. But that panelist role is not in Meeting Center. However, both Meeting Center and Training Center have participant roles. This is someone who comes into the meeting and they only get whatever privileges or rights are given to them by the person with those presenter privileges. So now, let's just see how easy it is to change a person's role in the meeting. Now we're in a live WebEx meeting. I'm Jacqueline Costner. I set up this meeting I sent out the invitations, and when I come into the meeting, it shows that I have the host role, and I also have the presenter role that is given to me. Now, I can give either, either of these or both of these away to somebody else. Notice Trevor's name below mine. Trevor does not have any kind of status next to him. That means he has a participant role. It's very easy to change the role. I can do this one of two ways. One is I can click on Trevor's name, and I can click on the Make Presenter button at the bottom. Notice that the presenter ball, the green and blue ball, is now next to Trevor's name. So I can't present as the host, but Trevor can. I can also make myself the presenter again by clicking on my name and clicking on the Make Presenter button. It takes a second or two for it to transfer, but it's very easy. So now you can see I have presenter role again. There's another way to change roles, and that's through a right click. So I'm going to go to Trevor's name, and I'm going to right click on uh, his name, and that's going to bring up the menu to change Trevor's role to presenter. So I can change it. There it goes ag again. And I can also take the role back by clicking on my own name with a right click and change my role back to presenter. So it's very easy to pass the ball back and forth. As the host, I can pass that ball to anybody that I like, and I can take that ball back anytime that I like. Another key role that you can pass to anybody else in the meeting is the host role. Let's say that you start the meeting, but you have to leave before the meeting is over. If you just try to log off yourself as the host, everyone's going to get dropped from the meeting. So it's very important that before you leave the meeting, you pass the host role off to somebody else. You can reclaim it too. Let's take a look. Now, it's very easy to pass presenter controls from one person to another, but the host is a little bit more complex, and you need to understand some things about it. When you first log on, two tabs automatically open in WebEx. There's the Meeting Info tab and the Quick Start tab. I want you to go to the Meeting Info tab, and notice that there is a host key, and it's a six-digit number. You want to write this down before you pass host privileges on to someone else. 
I want to pass the host control on to Trevor. So I'm going to right click on his name and I'm going to say change the role to host. Notice it opens a dialog box. All control of this meeting will be given to Trevor McMillan. That means you're going to lose control of the meeting. Go ahead and click OK on that. And now notice that he has the word host next to his name. Now, because you set up the meeting, it's still going to allow you to click on his name and go ahead and give him presenter privileges too. But you can either do it first or second. He will have those presenter rights. So now, once you pass that host control, you can leave this meeting and the meeting can continue as if you were still there. So now let's learn how to reclaim your host role. You come back into the meeting, you want to regain all the, all the powers, and so you just go up to the participant menu, and you go down here to where it says reclaim host role. When you do that, it asks you for the host key. Ah, now you see why we type that, and so I'm going to go ahead and type it in. If you don't have it, you can't reclaim the role. And so notice that it now instantly takes you back to being the host. And you have all the power to even reclaim that presenter role if you so desire. So here's one other reason why you need to make sure that you know that host key if you're going to pass host privileges. If there's a technical problem and you're meeting somehow after you leave, everybody gets ejected or the screen locks or something bad happens. The person that you have designated as the host can try to re-log on as a participant and it will automatically ask them what the host key is. If they know it, they will come in as the host. So it's just very important to know what the host key is and why it's important for you to know when you conduct a WebEx meeting. So as the host, your role is really important because when you log off, everyone else is going to get ejected unless you pass that control off to others. The same is going to happen with the phone. So you need to check with your audio conference provider and see what their rules are if you do log off of that meeting early. But if you have the integrated voice with the WebEx, it's all going to work together. So if you have to leave early, just remember this. Verbally and by that menu, pass that host role to another individual. Then look for the word host next to that person's name. Then you'll know it was transferred properly. And then number three, it is okay then for you to log off and your meeting can continue with everybody else. One of the things I love the most about WebEx is how flexible they built the platform. A right click or a little click on a button or maybe one item in a menu lets us change the roles and bring them back in the way that's most comfortable for us. It's very efficient, very easy to use. Once you master how to operate WebEx, then you're going to want your online presentation or your online training to be truly spectacular. If you're one of those people that say, I know my slides are boring, they are boring me to tears. Even if you are graphically challenged, you just don't have that artistic ability, this course, How to Put Wow in Your PowerPoint Slides, is going to give you the techniques and models you need to really make your slides really interesting to the people in your session. So just send us an email email and ask us for more details and we'll tell you more about it. This concludes the first tutorial in how to change roles in WebEx, including how to reclaim the host role. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, the webinar guru. See you again next time. Bye.